another Nexel tutorial number one brought to you by Pharmist. Okay, hello Nexel fans. Here's another tutorial video for you sharing some tips I've learned along the way working on the Nexel project and other experiments. This one again is about bridges. In particular we're going to look at the pedestrian path or PP bridges and we've made some changes to them which I think you all will find very nice. Makes it a lot easier to lay your bridges in any particular configuration you want. Anyway we'll start with the pedestrian path here with the new menu. Go down to bridges and I want to do a straight bridge and let's pick a 25 unit wide one and there's two different methods you can do this. The first one I'm going to show you starts out at ground level. So we start at ground level. We lay, you know, whatever small section you want. It can be just really small or large. We'll do that. Click. Then we go forward and hold the shift key and raise the bridge to the height you want the deck to be. We're going to make a low one here, so that's about good. Then we, oops, then we click. Ah. Then we click, then go forward, and we want to lay our deck now. It can be any length you want or as short as you can get it, but that's about good right there. And click. Now we go forward again, hold our shift key, and go back down to ground level. And try and get it at the length you want there. That looks about good. Click, and then we go forward. Well, that wasn't quite low enough. There we go. Click. Now we go forward and we've got our level piece of bridge. Now you have to have these level pieces on either side. And I'm going to show you in a minute on the next bridge configuration. But basically if you don't have these you won't be able to connect, go back to the PPs, your pedestrian path onto the end of the bridge and continue whatever you're doing. So let's go back to bridges here, get a straight one, and do a 25. I'm going to show you the second method. This time we start with the deck at whatever level you want to start. I usually like mine kind of low. And let's just do one right there. Man, it's a little too low. Let's just do it a little bit higher. There we go. So there's our deck. Now we go up and click on and it will automatically go back down to ground level so do the length you want click and over there we got it click now here is what I wanted to explain to you about having to have these small pieces at the end of the bridge if we go back to the regular pedestrian path roads or PPs and try and connect on to that you're gonna get invalid junction really don't know why but that was just some part of the game but that requires us to put that flat section of bridge as we did above like so on either side then we can go back to PP road PP and lay the configuration we want and that's pretty much it right there so you'll see you've got these nice low bridges now, you may not be able to fit anything under there that's too big. Well, hey, let's see if we can fit one of these under there. Yeah, right there. There, we got a small one under there. Ah, it fits perfect. Look at that. The lights just, just made it. So that's like the perfect little bridge for your pedestrian paths. The reason why we can do that now is because we changed the uh, collision box, which allows the roads to be built under low bridges. And conversely, um, bridges to be built under low bridges. Um, you could build one low bridge under another low bridge. But uh, let me just show you something real quick. You can still lay your normal bridges if you think about going from a, over across a valley. Just do a quick one like that. Now well, that was not a good one. Let's do another one here real quick. Ah, there we go. So you got your nice bridge up there, which is hard to see, but it goes across the valley and flat on the other side, and we would just take a small piece here and carry it on flat. 
and then with our road section. We'll probably carry these on to all of the axle patches, this type of bridge configuration that allows you this easy placement. And we are considering even doing it with the standard bridges in the game too. We'll see what type of feedback we get from everybody. Anyway, thank you for tuning in to the Nexel tutorial. I'll do some more in the future and hopefully you have learned some new things that will aid you in the building of your great cities. Thank you again.